So exactly one year ago, I took it upon myself to take control of not only what was eating away at my skin, but also myself. This is my year-long skin journey where I learned the real meaning of the phrase, trust the process. See, the thing with acne is that I know whenever someone is looking at my face, they're not looking at me, they're looking at my pimples. It honestly stopped me from wanting to see people, from wanting to go out, from wanting to film. But you know, one thing I realized is that all pretty girls have acne. It's just a rule at this point. Every pretty girl I know, she has acne. So if you have acne or pimples or marks on your face, just know it's probably because you're pretty. The story of my skin began in first year of university. That's when all this stress accumulated in my life and I just started experiencing so many breakouts. Mind you, I had to grow up seeing my mom with poreless, beautiful, baby finished skin. Meanwhile, I got the latter genes, meaning I was always either having clogged pores, experiencing new pimples, always feeling some sort of inflammation on my face. And seeing my mom with this perfect skin, I always thought that I would have her skin. So seeing the genes not work in my favor was very humbling to say the least. And I was so desperate for tips that once my eyebrow lady, she was doing my eyebrows and of course as eyebrow ladies, always do they point out all your flaws so she pointed out at my pimples and she suggested that I actually put saliva on my face I don't mean to ruin the story but this is not the cure that cleared my skin in the last year so I did exactly that that's when I realized that some people just like to contribute more fuel to the fire aka it did not work nothing worked everything that I tried it never worked and the biggest mistake that I learned was that I did not need a 5 to 10 skincare step routine every single night for the past three years I would put serums moisturizers oils actives on my skin every single night with my face dripping mind you and being like yep that's exactly what I need to do to clear my skin while my face was dripping down my neck I should have just taken that as a clear sign that that was not what was needed to clear my skin because every single other morning that I woke up it would just be more inflamed and more red the first thing I would tell anyone is look at your skincare routine and if there's excess of anything just take it out and um, just a little secret between you and I I'm really thinking of deleting this video off of my YouTube channel because I used the skincare routine for a whole week. It worked for me, but it only worked temporarily, meaning my skin just went back to normal after that. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that, but the truth is that less isn't even more, less is just enough. So by applying the simple philosophy that less is just enough, I changed my skin. I wish I did this with more things in my life because I feel like we love to overcomplicate things, but once you know we really trim it down to the simple things, it makes the biggest difference. So let me stop being a gatekeeper and get everything that changed my skin this year. Okay, so here is my triple threat. I like to call it this is what literally changed my skin this year which is why I'm so excited to announce that this video was in partnership with so this is benzoyl peroxide welcome to the world of benzoyl peroxide it will change your life if you haven't tried it already so I started off using this and within one week I noticed that my pores got smaller the redness on my skin just went down by so much I was literally shocked and I'm the type of person where when something good happens I'm like okay that's it like it'll only be for this week but come to my surprise it was actually becoming a regular routine for my skin to get cleared up by using this, this is a picture of me using it for probably one week and I was so shocked I literally couldn't believe the skin I was in I was not accepting it it took me a while to process it so anyway Anyways, I kept using this and I got to a point where I didn't have to use it anymore because my skin just cleared up But with every amazing product there is a little bit something wrong with each one So this one specifically it dries your skin out so much like it actually makes it really flaky Notice after using this for one or two weeks I would just have to use this at nighttime and wake up and wash off all the flakiness and then reapply my moisturizer And then just reapply it every single time at night because this will dry the hell out of your skin And also you cannot go near the Sun with this product because it will damage your skin so much because benzoyl peroxide and the Sun just naturally don't mix and what do you do if benzoyl benzoyl peroxide doesn't work for you. My next tip is to try every single active out there. There has to be one that works with your skin. Maybe it's retinol, maybe it's AHA, whatever active it is, give it like a one month time period. And this is where the real meaning of trust the process comes in because this is one year in the making of trying this. I started off with this because it was more of like the mild dosage of acne medication, but I know some people have to go up in it depending on their skin. So while I was using this, using this alongside my benzoyl peroxide gel was a game changer. This is just benzoyl peroxide cleanser and this is 3.5%. I don't know what the hell it is. These two together it made my skin so glowy I never had glowy skin before I never had anyone in my life ever tell me that I was glowing and when I use these two it just like shed a new layer onto my skin and I truly believe it's because I use such minimal products like this is simply benzoyl peroxide there's not any other things in this by using simple ingredients like this it really changed my skin so if you're gonna go out and try benzoyl peroxide make sure that you get a good moisturizer the one that literally saved my skin was CeraVe this is like five dollars at the drugstore it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy it doesn't clog my pores and it literally just changed the game for me because 
because putting this underneath benzoyl peroxide actually prevents this from becoming so flaky on your skin. So just go ahead, go to your drugstore, buy the products that might not look so pretty, but are pretty on the inside because that's all that matters with everything in life. And even though my skin looks like this, it also looks like this, this, and this. What I tell myself during these times, I know it sounds so cheesy and I hate to be that person, but literally your skin does not define you. The pimples on your face, they don't change the way your eyes look, they don't change the way your lips look, they don't change the way your nose looks. Don't even give any control to your skin when it's going through it because that doesn't take away from how pretty you are. And like I said, all pretty girls have acne. That being said, I'm wishing you guys all clear skin in all of 2021. I will see you guys next time, clear skin, all of 2021. Bye! When I thought that I knew what to do